Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of SMWS Big Bumper Bag of Buttons. I'm Toby, and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of SMWS 35.298 Big Bumper Bag of Buttons. This is the first of three SMWS reviews that I'm doing. And if you're not familiar, SMWS stands for Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. It's a club you can join and the membership is currently £85 a year in the UK. And it gives you access to purchase any of their single cask, cask strength bottlings. And it also gives you access to their bars and partner bars so you can actually have a dram in person. Whether or not this is good value is up to you, but if you want to find out more, I'll let you know how you can find out more about the club in the description. This particular whiskey, as I said, is a big bumper bag of buttons and it is a Glen Murray. This is the first Glen Murray I've owned and, well, I'm not really familiar with Glen Murray. I've had a few samples sent to me and I've done a few blind tastings but it's a distillery that has eluded me so far in terms of buying a bottle. This particular whiskey is seven years old. It's one of 239 bottles. It's 60.7% ABV, and it's aged in a first fill X bourbon barrel. Shall we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the color. I would say that is like a straw, this is uncolored and it is non-chill filtered. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get with this is toffee. Then I'm getting like biscuit. There's a hint of citrus. And it's becoming a little floral now almost perfume-like. There's a hint of linseed oil. And I'm also getting some star anise. Let's move on to the palette. So for me, this is initially very hot. You know, I'm no stranger to cast strength and whiskies, and obviously this is 60-ish percent, but this is very hot for me, uh, neat. Um, there's lots of chili pepper, and it really does attack the palate for me. It is a whiskey that I've tried uh, with water, and it does open up very nice. It handles a lot of water, actually. And um, even though I would say it doesn't actually give me more on the palate in terms of flavors, it does actually sort of dilute that heat that is uh, very prevalent on first sip. Let's have another sip. Yeah, so the theme continues from the nose. It starts off quite floral, um, quite sort of perfumey, and um, that's not a bad thing, but it is uh, it is quite noticeable. And then that develops onto like a, a citrus note, like orange oil and a hint of lemon, uh, just like I got on the uh, on the nose. And then in terms of fruit flavours, it starts to develop into a, a, like a sweet pineapple, which is really nice. But the thing I find that really sort of activates my palate is the, the sort of high ABV. That high ABV uh, really makes me salivate and I suppose acts as a, a mild dilution in its own right. And maybe that sort of encourages the flavors to come out more but it really is uh, really is tasty and um, I like how the fruit flavors do start to um, develop on the palate once that sort of perfume note disappears. Let's have one final sip.
Yeah, so for me, this starts to give a note of malted barley. There is um, a sort of aniseed or star anise note that develops on the uh, on the palate that I also picked up on the nose. There's a hint of white wine in there for me. And there's also a sort of butter shortbread note, which is familiar to the sort of biscuit note that I was picking up on the nose. In terms of finish, well, I'd say it's very long. There's a little bit of bitter dry wood. That floralness, uh, that floral note sort of lingers on the palate. And that aniseed note also sits there for some time. In terms of value, well, I paid, uh, I think it was just over £44 for this. And I think for a seven-year-old cast strength, single cast, naturally presented uh, Glen Murray, I think that's pretty good. I think the flavours that uh, the sort of official tasting notes give off aren't on a par with uh, the flavours I picked out. But that's not a bad thing. Um, often I buy whiskies based on their profile rather than their tasting notes. And sometimes I buy these whiskies based purely on a, you know, a, an interesting or bizarre uh, name. And this is definitely one that interested me. I think there's definitely value in purchasing SMWS bottles. Obviously, you're buying them blind, and sometimes, you know, if you don't know the uh, distillery uh, code for this one, it's obviously 35. You can Google it and find out uh, what distillery each one belongs to. So, if there's a favourite distillery, then obviously you can look that up. But I do like going in completely blind and not knowing the numbers. I like, you know, just finding stuff purely uh, based on its profile or you know something that just piques my interest and i think this delivers well for for the money i paid obviously uh if you want to be a member as i said earlier or find out if it's worth it i'll i'll put details in the description so you can find out more about smws but there's definitely benefits if you live near one of the bars or partner bars to maximize your membership because you can actually visit them in person and, and try a lot of these whiskies before you buy them. If you've tried this or a Glen Murray from SMWS, then let me know in the comments. As always, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And if there's a particular whiskey that you think is very good from SMWS or a distillery that works really well with them, then also let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can check them out. Hopefully you found this interesting and hopefully you'll come back next week for another SMWS review. Sauncher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.